Hey everyone, Sean from Loophold here. It is SHOT Show and we are talking about some of the hot new products Loophold has coming in 2024. With me right now is John, our tactical product line manager. John, what's, what's new in the world of tactical scopes? So I'm really excited this year, Skipper. We've got an entirely new family of scopes we're introducing. Uh, it's the Mark IV HD, um, so brand new line for us. So give me the quick rundown, the, the high level stuff on the Mark IV HD. Uh, quick rundown, they're a four time zoom system, so a four time zoom erector system, it's all new for us. Uh, they have our professional grade optical system, so amazing low light performance, great edge to edge clarity, all the optical performance you expect from Loophold. It's all wrapped up in the new 4HDs. Um, fast focus eyepieces on all the models. Uh, they've got our high speed power selector with the removable throw lever. Uh, there's five magnification ranges, so we have a one to four and a half, a two and a half to 10, four and a half to 18, six to 24 and eight to 32. So basically a, a line of scopes that's gonna cover every shooting scenario, close range, far range, uh, everything you can do with a gun, we gotta have a scope in the family that'll take care of it. Fantastic, you know, bring in just incredible versatility to, to the consumer. Now I will stop you real quick here. Loophole of course is famous for the original Mark IV, came out back in the 80s. Is there any relation between the scopes here on the table today and, and that scope? Uh, obviously, our, our rugged reliability that we've been known for for decades, the durability of those scopes, you know, they, they've been all over the world um, serving militaries, law enforcement. So all that, that heritage, durability, reliability, that's all wrapped up in the new Mark IV HDs. Uh, as far as the actual optical systems or anything like that, there's not a lot of similarity to the old model. Yeah, I mean, it's, we're talking, what, almost 40 years? We've made great headway in that time. And one thing we are you know, very well known for here is just continuing to learn and continue to apply the things we learn to the, every new scope that we roll out. Absolutely, Sean. Everything, if you go clear back, the original Mark IV, the Legacy Mark IVs, uh, the Mark VI's, the Mark VIII's, the Mark V's, all the things that we've learned through those generations, uh, we're able to take all that knowledge that we have here in house and, and apply that to all of our new models. So everything that we've learned from those Legacy models is all rolled up in the four HDs. Okay, so let's get down to some details. So we've got the one to four and a half all the way up to eight to 32. Where, who are these scopes for? Who, who, who should be paying the most attention? Again, this, this family is gonna cover just about anything you can do with a rifle in a tactical or a shooting sports situation. Um, great for those guys that wanna use something for a, a hunting rifle that they're also shooting competitions with or you know they, they want the tactical features in their hunting scope. Uh, there's not a lot you can't do. So on the low end with the one to four and a half, it is a true one power. So those guys that want to run them on their ARs for like a three gun competition or uh, you need that, that home defense rifle where you need that good true one power at close range but also want to stretch it out a little bit uh, with the four and a half power. It's going to be a great scope for the AR guys or, or short barreled bolt guns. As you move into the two and a half to 10, you're gonna extend that distance out a little bit. So again, it's super lightweight. You're looking at 21 ounces for the two and a half to 10. So anybody who's got a lightweight bolt gun that they wanna run this on, it's ideal. If you wanna stretch those distances out, like the AR crowd, we've got the six arcs that are coming out, the Grendels, those smaller calibers that have a lot of distance. It's a great scope for that. Um, and then as you go up into the four and a half to 18, six to 24, eight to 32, obviously those are gonna be your longer distances scopes. Um, Great to dial up, shoot out to long distances. Um, we got a couple different options in illuminated or non-illuminated. Um, we've got MOA versions, we've got mill versions, and we got front focal and second focal. So there's just a ton of versatility in the family. So yeah, like you were saying, there's a, there a scope for every rifle here on the table in front of us and in the line. Absolutely, yeah. So one thing I know is also new with the Mark IV HD is the new PR3 reticle. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, again, we, we work very closely with our consumers and our professional shooters and, and our people who shoot professionally uh, you know, as, as their job. So we take all that feedback. We introduced the PR2 reticle as a competition reticle in the Mark V. People have loved it. Um, it's probably one of the winningest reticles in the competition circuits that are out there. Uh, but some people did ask us for basically something that was a little less cluttered. They didn't like the Christmas tree. So the PR3 takes the foundation of our PR2 with that quarter mil increments on the horizontal and vertical. Uh, we got rid of the Christmas tree, really opens it up. So I think the competition shooters are going to love it. Awesome. And, you know, I'm looking at the adjustments here. I can see them in front of me. So we're looking at uh, our M1 and M5C3 elevation dials. Correct. So in our nomenclature, uh, anything that's got a one, so the M1 is a quarter MOA. So again, we have MOA adjustments and MOA reticles. Uh, and then an M5 or a five represents a tenth of a mil. So uh, M1 C3 is quarter MOA per click. M5 C3 is uh, one tenth mil per click. And then that three indicates that these are three turn dials. So again, uh, zero lock dials are going to give you three turns of travel. 
And then what I'm seeing on the Windage, or at least a couple of these models, uh, is a zero lock, which previously had only been available in the VX6 HD. Correct. Again, listening to those shooters and, and their feedback and, and trying to give people what they want, we had a lot of people in the Mark Vs came out asking for the zero lock adjustment on the windage. Um, some guys like capped windage because they don't want to bump it. Some guys want to be able to dial their wind. So, yeah, we added the zero lock dial to the windage on the high make scopes in the 6 to 24, the 8 to 32s. Yeah, another fantastic new feature. Again, it's, it's, it's loophole listening to the consumer, right? Listening to the guys out in the field, putting these scopes to use and, and you know, applying that to what we do. Absolutely. We couldn't do it with what we do without our consumers, and we want to make sure that we're providing the features that they need. Yeah, then obviously I know the answer to this, but we like to drive it home. All design machine assembled right here in our Beaverton, Oregon factory. Yes, sir. And, of course, backed by the full lifetime guarantee. Absolutely. So let's get down to brass tacks before we wrap things up. I'm not going to ask you to rattle off every uh, every part number, but what's the price range on this family? So they're going to start at $1,000 in the one to four and a half, and they top out at $1,600 on the eight to 32. Just so, incredible value. Yeah, it, a lot of value, very affordable, um, you know, and something for everybody. Well, John, thank you for taking a little time to give our, our consumers an exclusive look. And if you'd like any more information on the brand new family of rifle scopes, the Mark IV HD, you can head on over to loophold.com.